Samuel de Champlain Provincial Park is located near the town of Mattawa, Ontario. We thoroughly enjoyed our time camping there. I'll provide a link in the description below if you'd like to see more of our visit to this beautiful park. We stayed in the Babawasi campground. We were able to portage the canoe to Moore Lake directly from our campsite. From the dock in the Babawasi campground, we paddled west across Moore Lake to a shallow, marshy area. Here, we watched beavers and great blue herons while listening to the early evening bird song. But you heard it though, right? I heard it and saw it. Yeah, that was neat. There, right there. Yeah, that's the beaver lodge. Where are the beavers now? Underwater? Probably they went into their house. We enjoyed canoeing Moore Lake, so we put in again on another evening, this time in a gentle rain. We decided to explore the Amable du Fond River. So it's a nice calm evening, light rain falling. We decided to go for a paddle. We put in from the boat ramp at the Babawasi campground and paddled across Moore Lake to the Amable du Fond River. And now it looks like we've paddled all the way up to the highway. We just passed like what looks like an old um, day use area or picnic area that looked quite lovely, but it didn't look like the grass had been cut in some time. Whoa, guys, look at that beaver house. Let's check out that beaver lodge over there. That's a big one. Is that another mansion? Yeah. Tomorrow is apparently National Canoe Day, I believe, so... Oh, you can hear the cars on the highway. There may be thunderstorms tomorrow, so we're being sure to enjoy our evening paddle. So it's looking like we've reached the end of our evening paddle on the Amable du Fond. There's some rapids up ahead. We're right next to the Trans-Canada Highway here, so you can hear some traffic noise, but honestly, it's still a nice paddle. We've seen several beavers, great blue herons fishing. One of them caught a, a nice sized fish. That was cool to see. Amable du Fond was an indigenous person from the Algonquin Nation who hunted and trapped in this area in the 1800s. So we're just about to put in the canoe on Long Lake, but we've been watching some frogs. And, and let's see if it's still here. Some, oh, there it goes. Decent sized tadpoles. Turkey vultures over there. You guys ready for a paddle? One beautiful morning, we drove over to Long Lake to put in the canoe. Long Lake is a beautiful place. We paddled past high cliffs and watched turkey vultures soar.
might be it for us. <laughs> On our last full day at Samuel de Champlain, we were eager to paddle once more. That's a pretty tiny beach. It's a tiny beach, yep. Yeah. I think the beavers use it. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a, sometimes it's a relaxing day for the beavers. Sometimes it's a shady day mm -hmm. on the beach because I found another one. Oh, a shaded beach? Is that where the beavers go, go when they're done with the sun? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Or do they take naps during the day when it's hot and sunny out? I don't know. I think they do. We had an absolutely incredible time paddling through Samuel de Champlain Provincial Park. We barely scratched the surface of the canoeing opportunities in the area and we certainly plan to return for more exploring. Please subscribe to follow us as we camp across Ontario. Thanks for watching.